words, but the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. Let it be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Shout out to the WTC ministry. We still chosen if they ask. When you're chosen, you will forever be pulled apart. You will never fit in because of your destiny. I need every chosen one to hit that like button right now. I need every star seed out all over the world to share this video right now. Grand rising on this beautiful day. For this is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. What's up to all my divine ones? I need you guys' undivided attention. Shout out to you two for this wonderful opportunity. You guys know where I'm at. I'm at the beach. Hey Amen. Just get some of this good nature. Get some of this good sunlight. Hey Amen. Whenever you decide to come out, it's a little gloomy, but guess what? It's not going to, it's not going to stop the glow. Understand what I'm saying? But let me get straight to the title, chosen ones. See, when you are chosen, you have to realize that you will forever be pulled apart. Hey Amen. The Bible says, be ye separate. Come out from amongst them. Hey Amen. You were meant to ride this Christian journey all by your lonesome. It's a lot of people out there. You know, you think you have a lot of friends. You think you have people who gonna have your back. But in all actuality, chosen ones, all you really have is associates. Until God really bring you somebody in your life that's gonna support you to the very end. Because you have to realize even your own family and friends will turn their back on you, chosen ones. Amen. So you have to realize, chosen ones, that when you are chosen by the Most High God, you will forever be pulled apart. You will forever be set apart. There's nothing you can do to even try to fit in because of the simple fact God has preordained your life to be great. Your life was already preordained before the foundation of the world. God already knew that you were going to be this next big thing. No matter how many friends that you think you have, no matter how many uh, memories you guys have shared together, you have to understand that there's going to be a point in time in your life, chosen ones, where God is just going to pull you apart from everybody so he can get your undivided attention. Understand what I'm saying? And, and I'm, I'm going through a season, amen, where people are coming to me and they're asking me, man, I got this one friend they don't like me. They can't stand me. They doing this to me. They doing that to me. Because of the simple fact, you got to realize when God has chose you for the mission. And then you have to realize when God only had picked you out of a crowd for the people that just can't go to where God is getting ready to take you. You got to realize that many are called, but a very few are chosen. And some of you guys are hanging around people that is jealous of your anointing. They jealous of the way God is doing things for you. They jealous of the way you look. They jealous of the way you dress. They jealous of the way you present yourself. They jealous of the way you act. They jealous of the way you have the Holy Spirit that's on the inside of you. And, and, and some of you guys are starting realizing that you can do bad all by yourself. I'm getting a lot of emails asking me the same question. How come my best friend turned on me? How come this, this, my, one of my homegirls don't like me? Why she always got to do this? Why she always, you know, got to be jealous of when I ask her to take a picture of me? Why they got to be hating on me when I'm looking good, smelling good? Understand what I'm saying? In my right frame of mind. My spirit is renewed. Because you have to understand, chosen ones, when you get around certain people, everybody know is not going to have that same spirit. They might look good on the outside, but it's the inside they need to be worked out. Amen. Everybody might be looking good and smelling good and got the bat the, 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 the baddest heels on and the, and, the, and the biggest bag, understand what I'm saying? But when it's all said and done, what's your spirit like? So I'm, I'm here to tell you right now, chosen ones, be ye separate. Come out from amongst them. 
because God is getting ready to do a new thing in your life and everybody just can't go, period. No matter how hard you try to fit in, you got to realize that everybody can't go to where God is taking you and then you got to be okay with that. You got to be okay with walking this journey alone. You got to be okay, amen, with uh, being out here where it's just you and God, amen, and, and you you on your way towards victory. You got to be okay being by yourself. I don't know about you, but I like doing this and, and, and riding this, this Christian journey by myself. I don't know about you. I had people who I thought that was going to be there for me. They turned their back on me and they turned against me because of the simple fact they knew that God was getting ready to do a great thing in my life. So stop trying to fit in with everybody. That's what we mess up at, y'all. We're too busy trying to fit in with everybody. Everybody don't have the anointing like you chose me. Everybody don't have the glow like you chose me. Everybody not out here, you know, really worshiping God in spirit and the truth like you chose me. We got to start waking up and smelling the coffee. We got to start waking up and really realizing our worth. Because greater is he that is in us than he that is in this world. I don't know about you, but when I had so-called friends in my life, when I had people that was in my life, guess what? I was thinking like them. I was talking like them. I was walking like them. I was doing the things that they would do. But since God pulled me apart from people, I'm starting to realize I'm the chosen one. I'm starting to realize that I just want to worship him in spirit and in truth. I'm starting to realize that I'm just different. My anointing flows different. My oil, it flows different. My gift, it flows different. You got to understand, chosen ones, you're different. This is why God pulled you apart from people because of your destiny. It's not because, oh, he wants you to hate your family. He wants you to hate, amen, your, your so-called friends. He wants you to, to really hate people that turn their back on you. As a matter of fact, God really wants you to love these people and help these people. Why are they too busy jealous of you and having hatred towards you, amen, and having ill will intentions towards you? Guess what? They really need your anointing. So don't even think without a shadow of a doubt that, that you're going to go back into people's life and you know, things going to be how they used to be. You got to realize that you will forever be set apart. You got to realize that you will forever be pulled apart because of your destiny, because of the anointing that is over your life, chosen ones. You got to understand that the calling over your life is so strong. No matter what circumstances you might face. No matter how many battles is coming your way, no matter how many fiery darts is aiming towards your direction, you got to realize that your calling is so strong, you're going to dodge every fiery dart that's coming against you. No matter what problems or circumstances that's coming your way, you got to realize that you are still destined for greatness no matter what you go through. You are unstoppable. You are resilient. You can do all things through Christ, which give you the strength. So I'm here to tell you right now. Be thankful that God chose you for the mission. I'm talking to my chosen ones. Everybody not going to understand where I'm coming from right now because I'm in the spirit right now. I'm talking to all the divine ones, to the star seeds. Amen. You got to realize God only chose you for the mission. Have you noticed everywhere you go, you don't really see a lot of chosen people? Have you noticed everywhere you go, you realize that many are called, but then nobody pick up the phone and answer the phone call. But the ones that were chosen, they stepped up to the plate. Now everybody mad because God chose you for the mission. So you have to realize chosen ones. When God chose you, I mean, when God called you, you stepped up and answered the phone and said, Lord, here I am. Whatever you want me to do, I'm going to do for you, Father God. Why other people chosen ones got that same phone call for the Lord Jesus Christ. And guess what? They're constantly denying his will. They're constantly denying a man, him coming to them. And he's saying, hey, I just want you to surrender to me. I want you to give yourself away so I can use you. 
You'd be surprised how many people would not give they self away so God can use them. That's just the kind of world we're living in, chosen ones. As we're getting closer and closer to the beach, amen, we're going to get a really good shot of these waves. Amen, we're going to get a really good shot of these waves. The blood of Jesus, see that? Spirits just, just riding past me, about to, about to damn near run me over. Right in the middle of my video. Devil, you a liar and the truth ain't in you. No weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper. I'm telling y'all, we, we're, we're facing spiritual warfare. But like I said, long story short, chosen ones, you have to realize that no matter how hard you try to fit in with people, no matter how hard you try to be accepted or loved, you got to realize that you will never, ever fit in because of your destiny. Because God has called you to do great and mighty things. Amen. Pardon me, sir. Pardon me. Excuse, Excuse me. Bro. Excuse Thank you. Me. Thank you, brother. But you got to realize, chosen ones, that people that counted you out, amen, it was supposed to happen. People that doubted you, chosen ones, amen, guess what? It was supposed to happen. People that gave up on you, chosen ones, guess what? It was supposed to happen because of the simple fact God was really trying to show you that you don't belong in their circle anyway. You don't belong in their presence anyway. You don't belong in these people's life anyway. What I'm about to do for you is going to change your mind. What I'm about to do for you is going to change your life. What I'm about to do is going to make you the chosen one. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, Lord, I thank you for the setback. Lord, I just want to say thank you, amen, for the betrayal. Lord, I just want to say thank you, amen, for, for people just walking out on me because it made me the chosen one. As we get a beautiful shot of these beautiful waves out here, man, God is good, man. I feel the presence of the Lord. I feel this Holy Spirit. Hey, Amen. I feel this presence right now. Look at these beautiful waves. It is a gloomy day, but wonderful shot of these beautiful waves. That's what I'm talking about. Don't you tell me what God won't do. It's a little bit gloomy, <laughs> but we ain't going to let nothing stop the glory of the Lord on this video today. We're not going to let nobody stop the presence of the Lord today. Look at God's creations. That's that's number one. Look at his creation. I'm trying to get some of these waves coming up. They're not trying to come up. We got a little bit over here trying to come up a little bit. Get out here and get some of this good nature. Get out here and get some of these good vibes out here. Brother about to run me over. <laughs> Ride your bike, brother. Don't worry about me. I'm proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, I ain't... I ain't affected by nothing. I got confidence on the inside of me. I ain't worrying about what people think about me. But let me tell you something, chosen ones. You will forever be set apart because you're beautifully and wonderfully and fearfully made in the likeness and image of God. And you gotta realize it's not just your looks, chosen ones. <laughs> It's, just, it's not just the way you dress. It's not just the way you carry yourself. Amen. It's, it's, it's the spirit on the inside of you. It's the Holy Spirit that God activated on the inside of you. I realize everybody is really not the same. I don't know about you, but I'm glad when God chose me. I don't know about you, but I'm glad when God chose me for the mission. Everybody's spirit ain't the same. And as long as you, as, as long as you growing up and growing up in the fear and that mission of God, you start to realize that everybody don't have the same spirit. And you got to wonder why people hate you. You got to wonder why people, amen, they, they do all, you know, evil things to you. Amen. They, they hate, they have jealousy towards you. Amen. It's because of the simple fact your spirit disturbs their demons on the inside of them. I don't know about you, but I'm glad that God set me apart. I don't know about you, but this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. The world sure enough ain't going to take it away. You're not going to get this joy around people that don't want to see you win. You ain't going to get this joy, unspeakable joy, around your own family and friends. You're going to get this joy by yourself. All this peace that I got right now, guess what? I got it because God set me apart from people that was coming to my life, giving me turmoil, giving me hell. Understand what I'm saying? You got to be very careful when you out here. Living for Christ, doing the will of God, because that's when the task is going to come even harder at you. But no weapon that is formed against you, chosen ones, shall be able to prosper. 
I'm out here full of thousands and thousands of people on this beautiful beach, but guess what? We come against weapons of mass distractions in the name of Jesus. And for God did not give me the spirit of fear, but the power of love and of a sound mind. Some of you guys are emailing me. What do I do if I'm trying to make a video and, 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 and I'm a little nervous and, and I'm a little bit afraid to do this and do that? Let me tell you something. You got to have the confidence. You got to have the confidence to do what I do. Understand what I'm saying? And this is why God set you apart. This is why God put you apart. Because guess what? Greater is he that is in you than he that is of this world. I can do this in front of millions of people and will not be affected by the negativity that's coming towards me. Because guess what? This is what God called me to do. So I'm here to tell you right now, chosen ones, nervous, being nervous is a good thing because you're going before God humbly. That's why I look at nervousness is. You don't want to go before God with an arrogant spirit. You don't want to go before God with a hidey and, and prideful spirit. You want to go before God, amen, a little nervous because I was nervous and scared when I first started. And this is going to happen when you first, when God uh, uh, choose you for the mission, you're going to be nervous. Because I was out here, you know, living in this world, doing my thing. I was out here just doing me. I'm just going to keep it 100 with you, chosen ones. I didn't ask for this. God chose me for this. It's a difference. So you have to realize, chosen ones, in this season. When God pulls you apart, at first you're going to be a little bit nervous. You're going to be a little bit afraid. Hey Amen. You're going, you're, going, you're, going, you're going to feel like you can't do this on your own. But I'm going to tell you right now, if God is for you, can nobody be against you, man. I'm telling you right now, I'm getting all kinds of distractions right now. But guess what? It don't faze me because guess what? I know what God has called me to do. This is why you pray for focus. You pray for the Holy Spirit. You pray that God will keep you in the palm of his hands. You pray that God will continue to use you under the power of the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Because I'm telling you right now, chosen ones, the best thing and the best decision I ever made in my life was to really be you separate and to come out from amongst these people. I'm preaching to you guys in front of people. You think I care what they say about me? You think I care their reaction about me is? I'm doing the will of God right now. So just realize when God has called you to do great and mighty things, and we were like, there is nothing that nobody can do. There is nothing a hater can do to stop your destiny. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below. Tell all your haters in the comments below and say, there is nothing you can do to stop my destiny. Don't you be afraid to tell all your naysayers in the comments below. Say, there is nothing you can say about me that's going to stop my destiny. Because what God has for me is only going to be for me. You got to be comfortable being the chosen one. You got to be comfortable in your own skin. You got to be comfortable when God has given you a, a, a new life and a new walk and a new talk. You got to be comfortable with being the chosen one. So I'm here to tell you right now, chosen ones. Don't even think about fitting in. The devil be trying to play tricks in your mind. Oh, I miss them. I miss this. I miss that. I miss the times that we've had. But I'm here to tell you right now, you got to realize if you go back to the people who once broke you, if you go back to that place that once tore you down, let me tell you something. You ain't going to never, ever accomplish none of your goals, none of your milestones, none of your uh, dreams, none of your visions before the Lord. You're going to be a shoulda, coulda, woulda trying to fit in. Don't do what they do. Don't talk how they talk. Don't walk how they walk. Be different. So I'm here to tell you right now, chosen ones. God made you different for a reason. To draw all men unto him. Amen. He made you different for a reason. So he can use you for his glory. He made you different for a reason. He made you, amen, he allowed you to be separate from people because guess what? He want to use all of you, not some of you. 
We too busy running around with people. We too busy wasting our 20s, wasting our 30s, and wasting our 40s. Hanging around with people, amen, that ain't really called to do nothing. Hanging around people that ain't got the anointing. Hanging around people, amen, that don't even believe in God. Hanging around people that's jealous of you. We too busy trying to fit in with everybody, trying to be like everybody, but guess what? They really want to be like you. So just remember this one thing. When God pull you apart from people, when God pull you apart from your own family, when God pull you apart from people that lied on you, when God pull you apart from your own, your own so-called friends, just know you leveled up. When you didn't hit rock bottom, you got to realize, you know what I'm saying, God is really doing a new thing in your life. God is really, he's elevating you in this season. He's doing a great thing in your life. So let's get a beautiful, another one of a beautiful shot of these waves while we on with it. Yeah, we get a little bit more closer to the waves. I wish I can get a little bit closer, but your boy looking a little bit too fly. I want to get the kicks dirty. I need everybody to comment 11-11 right now as we go on for 20 minutes. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this wonderful video. Don't you tell me what God won't do. Don't be afraid to walk this journey alone. You got to be strong to be alone. Be ye separate, chosen ones. I'm telling you. You going to make it. Because as long as you got King Jesus, baby, you don't need nobody else. I'm free. It's just me and Jesus. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, I'm free. It's just me and Jesus. I don't know about you. I don't want to fit in. I don't want to do the things that they do. Like we make a U-turn. We'll go back down here just for a little bit longer. But like I said, I don't know about you, chosen ones. But I don't want to fit in. I don't want to do the things that they do, chosen ones. I'm comfortable in my own skin. Don't you be afraid to put in the comment below and say, I'm just comfortable doing me. I can do bad all by myself. I ain't got nobody jealous of me. I ain't got nobody hating on me because guess what? I do me. I ain't got nobody, amen, looking at me from head to toe trying to plot against me because I just have me. And sometimes God will pull you apart because he literally saved your life from people that was trying to take your life. God pulled you apart and he, he set you apart because people are trying to distort, destroy your destiny. God pulled you apart from people because people was really lying on your name. And then you would hear the rumors and you would hear what's going on, what people were saying about you. You're like, wow, really? Yes, really. But when you get in people's presence, they act like everything is all peaches and cream. They, like, they, they, they act like everything is all good. They act like you guys are still cool. But the minute you turn your back towards people, guess what? They're going to stab you in it. And this is why God pulled you apart. He pulled the real from the fake. God knows what he's doing. Never question God on why he isolated you from these people. Because you will, under, you will soon understand it better by and by. Don't never question God on why he do the things that he do. Because he is God and God alone. He makes decisions based on your destiny. God knows what he's doing. And people think you need their support to get to the next level. People think that you don't need their help. You don't need nobody help. Because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And they that the world they're in. And trust me, he may not be there when you want him. But I promise you, he's going to be there right on time. So just realize, chosen ones, you will forever be set apart. You will forever walk this journey by yourself, whether you like it or not. It's just you and Jesus. But think about the blessings he's given you. Think about the joy he's given you, the peace he's given you. And just realize that everybody can go to where God is taking you. I need everybody to share this video right now. Like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Amen, because we still chosen if they action, baby. And don't forget, chosen ones, if you need a friend, you best to believe you got a friend in me. If you need prayer, you best to believe you got a prayer warrior in me. And if you need motivation, 
If you need inspiration, chosen ones, you already know you got the greatest motivational speaker <laughs> in the whole wild world in your boy. Like I said before, and I'm going to say it again, we've still chosen if they ask. Now go in peace and serve the Lord. I see y'all on the next video. Be blessed.